Hey, D. I'm Genevieve Padalecki. And I'm Jared Padalecki. Welcome to our humble abode here in Austin, Texas. Come on in. Come on. Oh, they're in Texas? Throw me my cowboy hat. Yeehaw! All right, now we're ready. Today we are rating Jared and Genevieve Padalecki's Austin, Texas Family Farmhouse featured on Architectural Digest. This is the room of our house. This is where we hang out with the kids and watch movies and eat sometimes when it's too late to have them sit at the table. I mean, it really is the heart of our home, the kitchen. We have a big garden. Now. First impressions. For those of you who have seen my Taylor Hill video, this seems to be a more updated and elevated version of her log cabin. It also seems to be a lot less haunted, which I personally like. Maybe that's your thing, to your each their own. Go sit at the table. Nothing is precious in this house. It's very livable. And Jared was actually supposed to attend the University of Texas. He landed a role on Gilmore Girls, never made it to UT, but looks like things have worked out pretty well for him. Shoes off. Like, no. like, well, there are three dogs inside and, and three seven wild. kids. And yeah chickens and whatever, so make yourselves at home. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're not precious about this. We, we, we love it. It's our home, but our home is your home. The Padalecki's are estimated to be worth about $13 million, but you never know it with how chill and down the earth they are. Jared's like, eh, no need to kick your shoes off. Jen's like, grab any pot you want from the rack. Go grab some eggs from our chicken coop. I'll make you some breakfast. You got to love that Southern hospitality. We did a really big remodel on our house, which if you want to test your marriage, do a remodel. Because that was a tough, that was a tough one for us. But we I've built and remodeled a lot of houses for couples. Luckily, none of them have gotten divorced, but I will say, if your relationship is on rocky grounds, I wouldn't go through the process. Might push you over the edge. They're Douglas fir beams. We chose not to treat them or stain them or paint them and just leave them as they were to age when we originally bought this home. I like how they went with the black flush mount pendant lights as opposed to your standard recess cans. They let off less light, but they do set a better mood in my opinion. A standard recess can is going to run you about 50 bucks installed. These are probably more like 150. They're more, but well worth it if it's in your budget. That's why we really dug this and using really kind of Small, uh, Have you noticed how many different patterns and colors are represented in this interior design? You've got checkerboard on the carpet, horizontal stripes on the couches, vertical stripes on the pillows, black, white, blue, green, orange, red, four shades of brown. Me just saying that sounds crazy, but it actually works like, in this space. Listen, this house is powered to make sure that you stay cool. Not true. This is the part where I'm like, I want to stay cool to hell with everybody else. <laughs> I just want air conditioning. Anyone from Texas can appreciate how hyped Jared is about the air conditioning system. This is the dining room. We really wanted to make it fun and casual again. Like this house is crazy and it's chaotic. We refer to it as the house of chaos. So we really wanted fabrics and materials that, you know, we could get dirty and mess yeah. up. When we were designing and decorating the house, I found this old sewing table that, I mean, it was just stunning. It was out of our price range and it was too big. So the table they wanted was out of their price range. I'm curious, if you were worth $13 million, what would be your budget for a dining room table? Let me know below. It's a replica of the table, which you can see here and it can seat an army. I know I already mentioned the ceiling pendants, but they also have unique chandeliers and wall sconces. This might be difficult to explain, but a light shining directly down versus a light illuminating a wall is a night and day different experience. Coming in at an angle on a wall sets a totally different mood. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to install the flush mount pendants or wall sconces. It looks strange and we don't have any hats on there currently, but it's a hat rack. For me. It's a hat rack for me. <laughs> Speaking of hats, do we like the color wheel around Jen's brim? I like her hat. I just don't know if I like the the color wheel going around there. Hanging them a little too low because I'm 5'4 and he's... Six, four. So this is the one mirror that he can actually see himself in. We came across this wallpaper, Gracie wallpaper, um, that does all these really beautiful murals. I personally like a muraled wallpaper, but if you're on the fence about going with a bold wallpaper of any kind, I recommend first starting in a small space, like a powder bathroom, and then you can branch out from there. House right here. I was pregnant at the time, so 
I'm pregnant or our daughter is in the little buggy and then the two boys. And then we have Smalls, our favorite chicken. Oh, no. No. PSA. If you have animals and they pass away, let them move on to the afterlife. You don't need to taxidermy them. In Texas, they'll make the main room enormous. Wow. Look at those oak trees. I'm so glad they went with the floor to ceiling iron windows along the entire back wall of this bedroom. You've got this rich oak bed frame, cream walls, and then just a sea of oak trees providing that natural greeny, greenery to the room. It's beautiful. And with how elevated this house is, it almost looks like you're in a tree house. Stunning. Another one of the kiddos on our little fun chase. Yeah, and because it is used so often by our kids, we've acquired some big, massive holes in this um, couch. Well earned. Our philosophy is rather than replacing things, like let's fix it. This oh, I love that. I love that the holes are from actual wear and tear. I feel like some fancy designer is going to start selling overpriced quilted furniture to seem hip and cool. So this is our piano area where our kids like to serenade us. When they're playing, we like to hang out over here. Just sit around and, and smell fresh burning fire. This fireplace, this is really special to us because it came from an artisan in Fredericksburg. If you're ever in the Texas Hill Country area, I recommend stopping in Fredericksburg. They've got a lot of artisans like she mentioned, but also they have a lot of antique dealers, so you never know what might pop up. I will say though, the best antique shopping is probably in Round Top, Texas. So this is Tom's room, who's our nine-year-old, but our seven-year-old Shep usually sleeps here and Tom yeah. there. I like how Tom and Shep added to the design with their stickers. I'm being serious. I, good job, Tom and Shep. So then across from Tom, we have Shep. And Shep is really into animals. He's usually in here playing Legos. Yeah, usually. You can tell they ask their kids for design ideas without actually having them pick out any furniture. In my opinion, this is a much better way to go about it. So let's say your kid likes animals. You can design a sophisticated kid room with subtle hints, as opposed to having them pick out everything, then it might end up looking like the Rainforest Cafe. You set yourself down and read something. We have a couple books here. This used to be a grand entrance to the house, but going back to kind of... The Ooh. Check out the framing above the nook. It's almost Moroccan inspired, but slightly more elongated to give that whimsical look. Well, a reading nook would be really awesome and really useful. Also, you see how Jen's sitting on the cushion? Most reading nooks are about half this size. So with this depth here, it could function as a day bed or even as a couch. Because we have two sons and one daughter, obviously the daughter gets the biggest room. And so this is little Odette's little private haven, and she is just the queen of her own world. First off, I really like this room. I like the simplicity, the pastel colors, but look at the wall with the three birdhouses. I feel like it just, it needs some art there. It's replicating like an old wash basin, and instead, we turn what would be a wash basin into a changing table. Yeah. And okay, you see what I mean? Look at that wall. It's just a big blank space. I think if you just added a piece of art there, it would tie the entire room together. Other than that, I really like it. Bathroom where we showcase the real artists, our kiddos. And then <laughs> at the end, I have a real problem with mushrooms. You're calling man one one. We kind of think Okay, of look. Too. I understand this isn't for everyone, but I actually appreciate how quirky it is. What do you guys think? Yes, no? So this is our mudroom and also where we honestly enter and exit in the house. And it's Minor critique, I don't love the checkerboarding above the wainscoting. Unless that is a metaphor for starting and finishing your day, then I really like it. That was smart. It's a Dutch door so we can open up the top and you know, use it to check on the- You gotta have a Dutch door on a farmhouse. A bit of airflow uh, when the bugs aren't so bad here in Texas. We really wanted to create a, an area and an outdoor area where we could eat some of the plants and also play some sports and everything was like really usable. So not only are most of the plants usable and edible, but our yard, everything is for jumping and soccer and football and a little outdoor seating again our yard has a few levels and so it's nice because you get like this view i loved the inside 
and now this space outside might even be better than the inside. The Padalakis bought this home in 2012. If you're unfamiliar with the Austin, Texas real estate market, it has just skyrocketed over the past few years. They are sitting on a gold mine here. bought this place, the backyard looked like it does back there but we wanted to kind of make it a little bit more usable for the kids, for ourselves. So we kind of built this tiered system uh, leading down to our pool, which certainly has been worth its money. This piece is our chicken coop. We have some fancy chickens. We had all kinds of animals growing I'm up. I'm so and jealous of this raised house. Chickens at one point when we lived in Montana and it was so fun to go and grab the eggs and it was something that I really wanted for our kids. It's just really fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have seen enough. It's time to start this house. Or is it a farm? Either way, I want it. The land, the house, the renovation. This is getting a high score. Taking all that into consideration, I am going with an 8.9 stars. What I love about real estate is you can have a modern cliffside house like Alicia Keys and then a family farmhouse, completely opposite, but hey, both so, so beautiful in their own rights. Good job, Jen and Jared. Next time I'm in Austin, I expect an invitation. For the rest of you, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. See you in the next video.